Oh, hey, McFly subscribers. So I've got a review here for a backpack. Um, it's actually a set of different things, and I've got them pulled up here. I'll, I'll take screenshots and put them up on the camera there for you, but they've actually got a couple different things. They have a sling pack, a waist pack, and the full backpack, which I've got here. Um, and they're all water resistant. Um, they call it water resistant. I'm going to say it's pretty darn near waterproof, you know, other than submerging it really, really deep. As you guys know, I'm pretty picky on what I review, and th this is good quality, so I'm going to review it. Uh, I want to go over prices. Um, right now, at the current, um, probably because of coronavirus, I don't know when um, I'm going to be able to get this uploaded, okay? So once I'm done editing stuff, this might change, okay? But currently, the price is, um, for the sling pack, $169, um, and uh, $199 for the waist pack, and this one is $234.95. Okay, so two thirty-five. It is pricey. Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna right off the bat tell you it's pricey. But I think it's worth it. You know, you get what you pay for. Um, it is good quality. It's pretty heavy duty. If you want something waterproof um, or water, they call water resistant. Again, pretty darn near waterproof. This is, this is the bag for you. I think. I, I really like it. Um, this is big, of course, very, very big. But their sling pack is a lot smaller. They've got, they've got different options for you. Okay, now. Under full disclosure, before we get started, they did send me this for free. It happened before where companies send me stuff and I return it right back and say, nope, I'm not going to review that because I try it, it breaks or whatever. Um, and I, I don't review things that I think is poor quality or too expensive for what it is. This is expensive, but not too expensive for what it is, okay? So I, I do return things and I refuse to, to review them um, if, if I don't like the quality. Now, I have used this and here we go. Huh little barb came stuck to the side of it but I have used it a few times in fact I went out fishing with Paul on the kayak and I used it I thought that would be a great spot to use it because kayak fishing uh, my other my sling pack got soaked I mean just completely soaked everything in it was soaked it's okay I was smart I made sure and kept my phone out of it because I knew that would happen but it's kind of a pain to not you know put you can put keys in this and everything and not work Okay, so let me just show kind of how this is set up. This is a full on, it's built like a dry pack, okay? You can see inside, it's just basically an open patch on top, okay? And then you can just stuff whatever you want in there. Now, that, I've got this little, on the inside in there, and that keeps that, Bob, that top part from pushing into the compartment in there. You can see the top part. Well, that will, if you stuff it really tight, this will collapse all the way down into here. So it gives you some versatility. You can use this for like tackle bags, um, tackle boxes, I mean, um, by putting this in there and it will keep it from collapsing down on you. Uh, some versatility there, which I really like, okay? But you can always just stick this in. Took me a minute to figure out what this was for. Should have read the directions when I first got it. But um, right in there like that. And then that just basically keeps this from pushing all the way down and then you can use this section here. Um, it came, you can buy separate attachments to it. So they've got almost, if you're familiar with Molly, like, uh, you know, military kind of um, connection, connections. Well, they've got their own, and I don't know if it's any better than Molly, um, but it is a little easier to use, okay? So, you just basically put it in there, pop it in, um, I say easier to use, all right? And then that, you can see, will clip into that once you push it down, and just basically, there you go, it clipped, and that will not come out. It's also Velcroed in. So they've got a couple different attachment spots. Um, to put things on, you can put it on the side, any other, you know, things. This is sunglass holder, but you could use for other things. This one is interesting. I like it because it's got different spots to stick things. So you could put fishing line, um, extra fishing line, uh, tippet or whatever in there. Some tools right there. Um, and then stack other, you know, fishing boxes or whatever in there if you need, like smaller ones, fly boxes. And then this is kind of a secondary dry pack, and that is where I put my cell phone. Um, I always just kind of put my cell phone and keys in there to make sure they don't get um, 
water damage. And so that's secondary. So it's not only in this zipper part, uh, this is all um, kind of waterproof material. Um, they say that it can get through the zippers, but this also has a secondary like zipper part here that is got some kind of rubberized stuff over it. So likelihood of water getting through here and then through here is pretty slim. I'm sure if you dunk it and keep it under for minutes at a time, that might end up happening. But um, for the most part, it keeps your stuff pretty darn safe. You can get this for all the other types of bags, okay? Because these are all separate attachments that you can buy, right? And this one is just a Velcro. And I put it on the inside like that, but you could always stick it on the outside wherever you want it. Um, on the side, you know, whatnot. And there's a sunglass holder. You can also get a water bottle holder. Nice to have a little water bottle holder. Especially if you like the metal water bottles. Um, I find it holds a wider range of bottles than some of the other ones that I have had in the past. All right, so pretty much all this, like I said, you can stick anything anywhere. You can put this on that side. You can put it on the inside if you want, um, whatever you want. Um, everything has Velcro attached, so if you want to put the water bottle on the inside, you can. It'll just Velcro right on without the molly on this strap. Um, or even on the inside, there's Velcro on the inside that you can put things in. So it came with this, which kind of tells a little bit about it, but it's pretty neat. It shows all the different um, attachments you can get. You can get plier holders, even a rod holder. That's pretty cool. Um, so you can put the rod holder on the side and it'll carry a rod while you're out um, walking around. So you, if you are carrying a couple rods with you fly fishing, you're doing a couple day trip, uh, this is a great bag for that. Personal pouch, which I've got this thing, and then they've even got an organized carry case, which you can use. Um, it's a little bigger than this, but <clears throat> it'll probably fit on the entire section up front here. Plastic front where you can see it, so you can put your tippet and stuff. It's got sections kind of divide everything but what I really like about this is it is recycled okay so I don't know if that matters to you guys some people it does some people it doesn't okay but I think everyone likes the idea of not having a whole bunch of water bottles out in the the world um, wreaking havoc and this is made from recycled plastic water bottles pretty much the entire front part so or the outside part so all this material I'm um, sure they do something else to it. It's not just water bottles. It's soft and pliable. Um, but it's made from plas uh, recycled plastic water bottles. So it's kind of a little good for the environment. So that's, that's nice. I really like that. This is a nice little like bedroll strap here that you could uh, use to you know put a bedroll underneath and take longer trips. I did a lot of hiking when I lived out in Colorado. A lot of backpacking, a lot of you know backcountry stuff. And um, I really wish I had this bag then. I think this would have been really, really nice to have. Just the right size for a couple day trip. You know, basically put your bedroll there. You could stuff up in the top here a sleeping bag right there. And uh, pretty easily. And then just roll it down as tight as you can get it. And then connect it. It keeps everything from getting uh, really wet you know also the the back here is really nice nice soft um, kind of structured back so it does rest pretty nicely on your on on you um, and then it's got also a front connector now there is no waist strap that does have the ability to attach one I would think um, because of these two basically D loops here okay so you should be able to connect something for your waist to be able to even make it a little bit more uh, you know stable on you, um, but it's not really made f like a, you know, super long backpacking backpack, maybe a day trip or whatever like that, two day trip, perfect for if you're out um, fly fishing. The connectors are all high quality, so everything is, um, now they're plastic, but, but it's high quality. This is not going to bust. These are not cheap little, you know, Walmart brand type of connectors. These are high quality, which you would expect for being um, the price it's at, but and they are, they, they, they step up with it, okay? So as you can see, if you need to make this a little wider, uh, you can do that, but it also has this, which allows you to make sure that the straps aren't dangling all over the place, which is nice. So it's just nice, um, you know, a whole bunch of different things that they thought of that I think are really beneficial. This you can adjust, as you can see, it pulls out, 
you can adjust different sections here. You can bring it up higher if you want, so higher in the chest or lower, um, however you want it. It's got some little loops here and stuff to be able to put pliers or uh, forceps or uh, nippers or whatever you want on the front. But yeah, you can just basically, you can grab that, take it with you, with all your fishing stuff in it once, you know, you set up camp or whatever, if that's what you're doing with it. And uh, just take this little pouch, just grab it off. It's pretty simple. Velcroed with, like, their own proprietary Molly-type system. And then you've got something to fish with instead of taking the giant bag, if if you want to go that route, okay? You put a couple little fly boxes, you know, perfect for that kind of fishing. Or uh, on the kayak, I think it's really perfect for that. Kind of take everything with you and not worry about anything getting wet with the kayak. And then it's always right there with the kayak. You can just grab whatever you need. I put a whole bunch of boxes in here with a bunch of different flies and held a lot. Uh, again, this is the big backpack one. <clears throat> so I think uh, for, you know, kayaking, it's perfect. Uh, if you want to get their smaller systems, um, they look like very high quality too. Their sling bag looks really nice. I mean, it's expensive. Don't get me wrong, guys. This is not a cheap system. But again, you get what you pay for. And I do foresee um, all the zippers look high quality. As you can see, that connects. I mean, there's just no way. I don't think water is going to get in there very easily. Um, and all this is waterproof, I think. I think it's darn near waterproof, okay? So for most of our needs, okay? I wouldn't go scuba diving with the thing, but, you know. I mean, they just really did think of a lot of things here. So if you can see, this sits upright on its own. So if you're out, you know, you take it off, you just basically set it down, and it'll stand up on its own. It's not going to topple over or anything like that. It just it holds pretty darn well upright like that, so you can easily get into your stuff without it falling over and doing all that. So if you guys are interested in purchasing it, I will put a link in the description section along with... Uh, you know, a place that you can buy either this one or their other their other options. Um, also, they have they have different, like I said, accessories, so you can buy that there. I'll just link to their uh, their website, and you can go check this out. I think um, you know for the money, if you got the money to spend, um, you want a really high quality dry bag. I think you'd be really happy with this. Well, thanks for watching another video of mine, guys. I hope uh, you enjoyed it with this review. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish. I've got this uh, dry bag. Last time I brought my uh, my um, sling pack and it just got soaked and everything in it got soaked. So I brought this uh, dry bag and I'll give you guys a, a review of it at one point if I like it. Um, so far I'm liking it. So uh, we're going to test that today.